Okay, we're gonna talk today about creating your own domain and then forwarding everybody to your premier website. So we're gonna go to Google domains, so domains.google, and then we're gonna search for a particular name. So you're gonna get creative with this and maybe style or shop with, so style your life I have in there. So we'll just, let's check that out. Okay, so let's see if that is available. We'll click that and it says it is not available. So you might say style your life with JD, okay, Julie David. Or how about style with Julie? I know that's gone. That is not available. So we're gonna say Julie, I already took David. So let's say Julie Smith, okay? So look, it's available, $12 a year. You'll pay that every year, but so worth it because you're gonna be able to just tell people, style with juliesmith.com or whatever it is that you want. So you add that to the cart, you proceed to checkout. I was playing around with this before. I'm not gonna buy either one of those because that's not me. So I'm gonna go over here to manage my domains and I'm gonna teach you what you do. So once you get one, you will get to this page and you'll just have probably your one domain. I have multiple. And you have these um, different columns. Website, email, and DNS is what we're gonna focus on. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is website. That's logical, right? So we're gonna click this right here. Here's a um, particular website that I bought because I thought I had a brilliant idea going there and then I realized I totally didn't, so I never used it. So it's just sitting there unused. I won't renew this one. But I'm gonna hit the little plus, very intuitive. And you're gonna get this screen that pops up. Build a new website, we're not gonna do that forward to an existing website, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna say continue. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click and put in www, and that's my, that is my catalog address. So put your catalog address in and click forward. Very logical, right? So very easy, boom, it's done. So now you can go to your URL, plug that in, and it should forward right to it. If it doesn't right away, just give it a couple of minutes to kind of communicate with, the websites out there and it should work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what else we can do. So I'm just gonna click back and my domains. Okay, so now you've got email over here. So why would you wanna do that? All right, let's go to Style with Julie David. I already have this set up. What's great about this is if you ever change your email, you're in a business now and you cannot lose communication with people. So sometimes email companies go out of business or if you use a local provider and you move or you just can't, you know, your, your email just is so flooded and you want a new one. So you're changing from Gmail to Yahoo or whatever it might be. Well, if you use a forwarding email, it doesn't matter because you can just redirect it. And this will go right to your phone, right to your laptop. It'll be as if they're using your Current email. So if you have one that's not very professional, you don't even need to go get a new email address. You could just forward it. So what you'll do is you'll just put your name. Okay, so you know, let's say I'm gonna do Julie, Julie David. Okay, but I would probably just use Julie. I already did that though. And then I could use my current one that I don't like, Julie Loves Bling at gmail.com. So if anybody had my, um, or if I wanted to access my Gmail, I could give people, I'm gonna make this Julie, because you want it to be as short as possible. So Julie, at style with Julie David. No, that won't work, because I already have it. Julie David. And then that will go to that particular email. So I just click add. You just really want your first name, and then whatever your website address, it's already in there and then you just put whatever your current email address is in the open area. It's very logical, and you hit add. You can see I was playing around with this. Um, so I have julie at stylewithjuliedavid.com. You can email me there, and it'll go right to my Ymail account. So very easy, and if you go julie david at stylewithjuliedavid, that'll go to my Gmail account, and I can hit here, and I can delete this. I was messing around with my one for my husband. So that's really great. Okay, so that's the second column. Now let's click that third column, the DNS. This is a little more complicated, but it's fabulous. Okay, this is so wonderful. 
These are called subdomains. So when you hit this little double thing here that says DNS, I'm just gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to synthetic records. Now, you can make multiple subdomains. You can forward people to your VIP group on Facebook. You can forward people to the opportunity video, whichever one you wanna use. You can forward people to a particular fashion video. You can forward people to your Pinterest account. You can forward people to anything that you particularly want to forward them to. So um, right here, I have my Facebook page and I just made it facebook.stylewithjuliedavid.com. So here's how we do it. So let me create one for you. I'm going to create, I think I did this one. <laughs> I keep making these to show, make these videos. Let's say um, uh, video two dot style with Julie David. Now I need the URL. So I'm going to go up here to YouTube and this is my opportunity video. You just hit share. It comes up. You copy and paste it. Right click, copy, come back to Google Domains and paste it. You're going to do that with any website that you want to forward to. Don't trust yourself that you are um, decline that. Don't trust yourself that you would remember it. Copy it from the URL. And then we're just going to hit add. So let me show you some that I've done. I'm going to click a different one. www.facebook.style. Oops, I can spell. There we go. Okay, this will take you to my page. Bum, bum, bum. Fabulous. Okay. And then if I click this and go www.vip.stylewithjuliedavid, that takes you to my VIP group. So much easier in my shows to go, okay, ladies, take out your phone. Now just Google this. Just put in vip.stylewithjuliedavid and add yourself to my group. Now I want to show you something important. I have each one of these things that I have forwarded in here twice. And one of them I put in www.video2, whatever I'm calling it, dot style with Julie David, and then I paste whatever the um, URL is, and I hit add. So one of them has a www, and I do it a second time without. That way people can type it in either way, and it will work. Isn't this fabulous? Okay, so let's just review what we can do. We are going to go up, and we are going to click the first one and put in I like our catalog, okay? I think that should be your main one. So it might say shop with Andrea, or shop with Cynthia, or shop with Sally, okay, dot com. So easy to be able to post that in your events. Then you can forward an email if you want, so be julie at shopwithjulie.com. So great, helps that to keep consistent, even if you have to change email providers. And then you can do subdomain. So vip.stylewithjuliedavid.com to get them to your VIP group or to your Facebook page or to a particular video that you want to share. So it's really great. I use a Google Doc in order to have them a Google form after they watch my opportunity video. So I will just show you this. I have style your life with PD, right? And then I have a subdomain, which is um, form.styleyourlifewithpd. So this one right here takes them to a Google form that they can fill out, and my team and I use that. You don't want anybody else to use that. That's just for our team. But you could create a Google Doc, and you could call it form and whatever you want it to be, and then send people to that Google Doc, which is pretty cool. Okay, so... Let me cancel that. I will show you how that works. I go right here and I go www.form.styleyourlifewithpd. They just plug that in and it goes right to this form that I have them fill out <clears throat> about their reactions to the video. And then that goes to, um, I get to see all the results. So it's pretty cool. So I have all that information. So that's how I use Google Domains. I hope that's helpful to you. And um, that's about all I know. That's the extent of my knowledge. I'm still learning, but I hope you can apply it and have a little bit of fun and it doesn't stress you out. So only do this if you're really looking for 
an easy way to create sort of brand yourself with that particular website say so I have style with Julie David so when you look on the back of my business cards it says um, Julie at style with juliedavid.com right actually I use Julie at styleconfidence.com but um, and then I have the different websites that I use here so you can keep it really consistent and have some fun hope that helps and you can figure all this out it's just a little bit of fun you don't have to do this but just sort of taking it to the next level